Welcome back YouTube, VST here at SP Tech. This is the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. That's an iPhone, I'm just gonna use it for a test. The video is gonna be about fixing Samsung's One UI 41 notifications. Now let me elaborate guys. I'm going to leave my phone on and I'm gonna send a notification from this phone to my phone using Viber. Let's send one message from this phone to my phone using Viber and see what happens. All right, message sent waiting for the miracle to happen, boom! Now I have here my AG Lightning notification. So how does this work, guys? Once you get inside the settings, you can go to notifications. You can use the brief notification options or the detailed, but if you use a detailed, you are losing the extra lightning. Now, under the brief one, I'm using the brief pop-up settings where I do have the age lightning style, the Eclipse one, right? And I did also use this red color. We can also try the auto one and of course I have used the duration set to the longest time. If we try to use the auto color this is what you're gonna get. It's very nice. The One UI is trying to anticipate and yeah build something and that's all fine. But I do have a problem when my screen is off. So let's say I go outside my office right somebody sent me something. See what will happen right now. The whole screen is gonna light up I'm not getting the edge line notification for some reasons, probably Viber is not compatible, I don't really care, right? But it doesn't really work. And even if those edge lighting notifications do work, they will pop up, but I'm gonna be in another room, right? So when I'm back on my desk, I will of course miss this. Now, some people will say, yeah, but you can use still always on display. Let me just show you guys. If I go inside my settings, I go to display, scroll down, go to always on display. There is the option to show always and also the option to show for new notification, which is probably the preferred one, but I'm gonna use that one right now. So show always, right? Here, I do have now this visibility. So somebody sends me something over Viber. Again, my whole screen is gonna light up. Okay, then I'll go back to the always on display and I will see that I have some notifications and that is true. But you know what? It's not enough. You know what I decided to do? I went into the Play Store and I searched for notification LED and then I got notification light for Samsung. I installed that application because right now they do support the S22 and I just want to test it with the Ultra. All right, so when you open this application, you're going to see that the AOD notify and I'm going to do the whole setup together with you, right? on this video, so if you like it, you can always do it on your phone. And before doing this, guys, please subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to hit that bell icon to get notified every time I do upload a new video. All right, so I'm gonna press now, next, set up app, please follow these instructions. Okay, we need to perform certain activities. Select which apps can activate notification line. All right, I just want to have it right now for Viber. Why? Because I'm just using Viber and my son is using Viber. So right now my kid is on a green school and he messaged me using the Viber and sometimes I'm not getting those notifications, which is pretty much not what I want to have. Viber, okay, then. Notification access, need to recognize arriving notification. Okay, now from here, we need to go and select the AOD notify. Now the AOD notify has access to my notifications. And then we have this always on display menu. When should the always on display be displayed? Show always, always on display not visible, only on notification. All right, why not, okay? But for now, I'm just gonna choose show always. Then we have drawn screen. So more permissions are needed right now. Accessibility, we need to go installed app and we need to click here AOD right and we're going to have to allow this and we are almost there data protection this application has no internet permission guys so although it will have access to your notification we probably should be safe i say probably because you know you never know where we have electricity etc yeah <laughs> but now i'm pressing the done button and now plenty of options notification apps and settings Select which apps can activate notification light. This is indeed the first menu, so from here I already pre-selected Viber. Ignore notifications, phone unlock. That's a good idea, remember why? Because I wanna use this while I'm off my desk and I come back and just see that somebody reached to me over Viber. The second menu here is gonna be the notification light. Inside here we have two main styles for when the screen is on and when the screen is off and I'll just stay with the camera edge. We of course also have some many other options, but right now, I'm just gonna choose the camera edge, okay? Now, we have also dimensions. And here, guys, you can use this one here to make this appear thicker, right? And also resize it if you want. I'm just gonna leave it like this. If this blinks, it will already draw my attention. And very, very important, guys, display time. We have here screen is off 
Two minutes. I will assume that two minutes is enough. Remember, the scenario is I go and make myself a coffee, I come back and I check my phone. So two minutes should be pretty much okay. If I'm away for more than two minutes, well, okay. I can go also and set half an hour, but you need to pay for this application, right? So five minutes is the most we can do, right? If you wanna go and use more, all right, we need to pay. So we're gonna stick to five minutes, okay? And then we have general settings, we have also colors. Let's go inside color and let's choose something that I will really see, which is the red color, the red color of the notification. Then we have some general settings. There are plenty, plenty guys, plenty of options. What I wanna do right now, guys, I want again to start with the two scenarios from the beginning of the video, when my screen is on and my screen is off. So let's see if it's gonna work. First scenario, screen is on, okay? Somebody messaging me over Viber. Remember, I don't want to get this notification. So I just get, let's say, the standard One UI edge lighting style. I don't really care about this because apparently screen is on, so I'm there. This here is what actually counts. So I have now the OS on display, cool. Anyway, another message. Somebody's messaging me, my screen lights, all right? Boom, I start seeing that notification already. Now it's very important, guys, yeah. This is actually what we wanted to see. So I'm now away from my desk. I go back and for five minutes, this damn thing here is gonna flash. So I will know somebody reached out to me. And now to be even more precise, I'm gonna clear notifications, okay? Boom, now this should disappear. It's still there, by the way. No, it's gone, which is actually good behavior. I'm gonna go again in my settings, display, always on display and I will turn off my always on display cause usually I don't really use it or if I use it, I just use it with a tap. Now for this test, let's not use it. Screen is off, somebody reaching out to me via Viber. Lock screen on, boom. Everything works perfect. Again, we need to wait a bit. Will this now pop up? No. So what we need to do, we need to go and make sure to enable the always on display. So if the always on display is not enabled, guys, this will not work. What will happen if we just use it to show notifications? So right now, if I close my phone, I should not see anything. Now, somebody's typing something. Okay, lock screen on. Now we should hopefully see the AOD. Now the screen will have to die. Boom. Absolutely, this is actually what I want and what I need and I really hope that Samsung will bring this as a native functionality. So let's say I'm now away from my desk, I brew myself some coffee, I go back and I can see this one probably I'll miss but this one will be so much drawing my attention that the job is done. So Samsung, please finally once and for all fix dead notifications, right? We need to have this, okay? And guys, remember, the only prerequisite for this to work is that you need to have the always on display working, okay? Because if, let's say it's um, off, what will happen is, and I will show you, if I now go back to the AOD Notify, the notification app is gonna be disabled. So when you enable it, you will need to put the AOD back on. So without no AOD, you'll have no notification. Else, boom, somebody sending you something, and of course, you're gonna get this much required, I would say very much useful notification light. Remember, we used to have phones with hardware notification LEDs, LEDs, right? And remember, you can customize this for all of your application, different colors, different shapes, everything. And if you like this application, go buy it, it's like three euro. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel with that said, please you and your family stay safe, VST over and bye. bye.